Continuing on in section 2.5, uh, feel free to pause here and give this a try if you'd like. What is the height of a triangle that has an area of 24 square inches and a base with a length of 8 inches? So here we're talking about a triangle and its area. So I'm going to use the formula from page, I think it was 110. Area of a triangle is half times base times height. And we want to know what is the height. So height is what I'm looking for. Right now, height is being multiplied by our base, so I get rid of multiplication by dividing. Anything divided by itself is 1. It's also being multiplied by this fraction. And remember, we get rid of multiplication by a fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over 1. So I'm going to get 2a over 1 times b is just b equals my height. So the relationship of area of a triangle to its base and its height here can also be written as 2 times our area divided by our base is going to give us our height. So we've solved for height, and now we can plug in what we know. We know the area is 24, and our base has a length of 8. So 2 times 24 divided by 8 equals h. We multiply in our numerator first. Remember, this is a grouping symbol. It's like there's parentheses there. Then we can divide. And 6 is our height, and these are in inches. So 6 inches is our height. Uh, we could have also at the very beginning, since it's being multiplied by a half as well, divided by a half. We just don't like to put fractions in fractions if we can avoid it. But we still would have gotten to the same spot if I'd have taken half times 8, gotten 4. 24 divided by 4 still gets me to 6. So that would have worked as well. Uh, wouldn't have been wrong. It just would have looked a little messier. Example 4 here. The monarch butterfly is the only butterfly that migrates annually north and south. The distance that a particular group of monarch butterflies travels is shown in the picture on page 111, and there it shows us it's about 1,700 miles. It takes a typical butterfly about 120 days to travel one way. What is the average rate at which a butterfly travels in miles per day? Round to the nearest miles per day. So here we're talking about a distance, uh, rate, um, time, so we're going to use our distance equals rate times time. And we're looking for what is the average rate. So to solve for r, it's being multiplied by t, so we divide by t. Distance divided by time equals rate. And that's something we're familiar with. Uh, when we're driving down interstate, for example, we might be going 75 miles per hour, which is miles per hour equals our rate. So Distance divided by time is our rate is something that we're familiar with. We may not think about it as a formula, uh, but we talk about feet per second or uh, miles per hour or things like that, uh, and it works the same way here. So we're going to plug in what we know. We know that the distance is 1,700 miles, and the time is 120 days. And that's going to give us our rate. We want it in miles per day, and the 1,700 is in miles, and then 120 is in days. So that's perfect. We have miles over days, just like we want. Here, we're going to round to the nearest mile. So I get 14.16666 going on. Uh, to the nearest day, I look right after my decimal point. One rounds down, so it's going to be just 14 miles per day day is our rate. Now, Pacific gray whales migrate annually from the waters near Alaska to the waters near Baja, California, Mexico, and back. The whales travel a distance of about 5,000 miles each way at an average rate of 91 miles per day. About how many days does it take the whales to migrate one way? So here, again, we're talking about a distance and a rate and how many days, that's our time. So we're still going to use distance equals rate times time. We want to know how many days, so we're looking for our time. Time is being multiplied by rate, so to get rid of our multiplication, we're going to divide on both sides. 
r divided by r gives us 1, 1 times t gives us just t. So distance divided by rate gives us our time. Distance here is 5,000 miles, and our rate is 91 miles per day. So when we divide here to get our time, I get approximately 54.9450549 to be t. So about how many days? 9 is going to round up, so it's going to be 55 days. And that's about how long it takes the whales to migrate. Quick recap here. A literal equation is an equation that involves two or more variables. The solution of a literal equation can be found using the properties of equality to form a series of simpler equations. And the properties of equality can be used repeatedly to isolate any particular variable. And that's all I have for section 2.5.